What's up guys, how are we all doing today? Welcome back. We're going to be doing another 25 PD hunt today, like normal. And we're going to be hunting some combibos today. And it's day... Th well, it's this is the third video that I've been... Uh, that I've recorded today. So, so far, so good. Um, this I guess this will be like an impromptu midweek update video on how the week's worth of recording is going. So far today, it's going very well so far, and I'm... Can't really complain about how things are going, like, uh, except for, you know, the lack of loot. You know, that that's always a pain in the ass, but, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes, man. It's just how it goes. Uh, well, I'm not in the Lahar Swamp, so I'm not going to be doing that tracked mission thing. I'm going to be killing Combibos. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Fingers crossed we get a global today, that'll be good. Oh, and, uh, in the last video, my buddy Elder Dragon got a Hoff. Here's what he ended up getting. He got 1,653 PED worth of shrapnel, uh, 47 PED worth of pancreas oil, and he ended up getting a full TT Isis LB25. Not bad. So he said he's going to uh, hold on to it and uh, probably use it later on in uh, hunting and stuff like that, which is really good. Like, really, really cool. Like, personally, if I got that sort of big of a hoff, I would have gotten either another Calypso Land Area Deed or, I'd, or I would have just pumped it all into the uh, Crystal Palace shares. That's just me. I'm a bit of an, of an investor. I like the investment thingy. Yeah, I like the concept of invested investing. It's uh, it's fun. In fact, I'm going to be investing more into Entropia Universe in the coming uh, this year, and I'm also going to be investing in general this year into like stocks and stuff like that, specifically shares that pay out dividends. So, you know, just for just for a little bit of uh, you know, starting to build up that little bit of a um. Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, what what is it called? Capital building up some capital this year. That is plan numero uno for this year. Build up some damn capital, which will include saving, uh, saving money, but also investing money. So I'm going to be do doing a lot of different things, a lot of different things. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting. But, you know, it's all for later on down the line. You know, if, if I ever get a chance to, you know, if I get the chance to uh, retire at the age of 40, that'll be good. You know, if I ever get the opportunity to not need to work the, uh, until the grey years of my life, I'll call them, the, the golden years, you know, when, once I get up to, you know, in the 60s, because I think in Australia they're trying to push the retirement age to 70. Fucking 70. Thereabouts. Like, it's nuts. It's absolute bullshit. So, you know, I've decided to uh, be a little bit smarter with my money in, uh, yeah. Alright, so this is how he ended off knocking the guy off. They are slow. They are easy to kill. Shoot, walk back, turn, run, game, gain space, and shoot and repeat. I didn't get killed. I didn't. I didn't get killed, but ran like five times. That's fair enough. I mean, let's face it. If you're facing, if you're fighting like a powerful creature that's slow, being able to shoot it and then run the fuck away and then shoot it some more, that would be good. <laughs> that would be really good. So yeah, so that's what my plans for this year are to invest in a few things. Entropia, because so far Entropia has been very stable. Apparently it, like, was very stable during the economic, like, the, you know, the economic crisis that we had, like, ten years. Like, uh, five, ten years ago, whenever it was. Like, it survived that. And, uh, the game itself is getting more popular by the minute, so I'm, uh, hoping that more and more people will... 
uh, sort of latch on to the game and be like, holy shit, this is great. Because not only is it a good imp investment opportunity, right? Not only is it a brilliant investment opportunity, it's also a fun freaking game. It's fun to play. You know, you got the societal aspect, which is basically like, you know, social media sort of stuff. Getting into like a society is like getting into like a, f a Facebook group chat or some shit. You know, just like every other sort of uh, MMO that has like a guild chat and things like that. So you got the social aspect. You got the uh, more nuanced aspects, which is like trading and the marketplace, like the markup. You know, and you've got the ability to invest money in essentially the shares of certain parts of the game. Like, Cal like Calypso, Arcadia and Crystal Palace, which I think is really cool. Being able to invest money into these sorts of things. Just because, you know, it's, you know, it's cool. It kind of gives that sort of idea of, okay, this is kind of how I invest. You know, so when I, when, when I start investing later on this year, because you got to have a bit of, you got to have a lot, like, a, you got to have money in order to do this. So I'm probably going to start investing in, this, in in shares and things maybe halfway through the year you know thereabouts I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to be going with a bank instead of a broker well I'm going to be going with a bank instead of like an independent broker not sure what I'm going to go through uh, if you live in Australia these things might sound familiar I'm thinking of either going with Westpac or uh, Commonwealth Bank so, like, ComSec, things like that. But, a lot of time to make my decisions, a lot of times to, a, a hell of a lot of time to uh, figure out, um, you know, the best sort of thing. There's, um, there's obviously fees involved with getting stuff, so it's almost like the auction house in a way. You know, if you're going to sell something, uh, or if you're going to buy... Uh, what is it? If you're going to buy shares in here, there's going to be a little brokerage cost, which is funny. Uh, which I think is like just a not, it's an interesting touch having that little like brokerage cost. And uh, same thing with like selling stuff on. Uh, same thing with selling stuff on the auction house. You got that little brokerage, little, little auction house fee or that little brokerage fee. So if you buy like a specific thing and want to sell it for more, you got to be able to also spend, like you also got to account for the uh, quote unquote brokerage fee or, you know, the auction house fee in this case. So, yeah, but it's, it's going to be an interesting year. There's going to be a hell of a lot of, a lot of, a lot of numbers this year. There's going to be a hell of a lot of numbers this year, which is going to be, uh... Not bad, but it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Okay, so level seven, laser weapon technology, light melee weapons, short weapons handling. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, bugger it. Let's go long blade, just just for the hell of it. Fifty five points in long blade. Okay, that's not bad. So swordsman hit and swordsman damage went up. <laughs> cool. That's always nice. Longblade engineer went up a little bit as well. That's always nice. So there's a lot of... A hell of a lot of things. Oh, that, that loot wasn't too bad. That was about 3 PED. And the good thing about these guys, it doesn't cost that much to kill them. So when you get like a higher loot that's like in the 2 or 3 PED mark, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's nice. Like, we're using about 10 PEC per kill with this gun. 10 PEC per kill. Sorry, not 10 PEC. 10 PEC per kill. That would be nuts. Uh, 10 PEC per shot. <laughs> That's what we're using. We're using 10 PED per... 10 PEC. Speak English, Scott. 10 PEC per shot. So if they take five shots to kill, that's like half a PED. You know, so... Really, we're really looking at getting those. Ooh, that wasn't 
Hey! I think we actually made back our 25 PED, boys and girls. We fucking did it. We bloody well did it, guys. It's about damn time our luck turned around just a little bit. All we need now is a global. Doubt we'll get a global, but all we need now is a damn global. Uh, we'll kill the... Hmm. Hey, we actually killed it. Cool. Alrighty. There's that done and dusted. Now we've got to head back up. And uh, see exactly what we got. Looks like we got around... Um, we might even be around like the 30 PD mark. So we would have made back 5 PD. So at least we made back and... Like, at least we made back what we lost in the last one. In the last hunt. When it comes to just like the ammo cost. So that's always good. So, so far this week we haven't technically made a profit yet. If the next couple of runs we make a tidy profit, then we can consider this week to be in the profit zone. But then again, I will also be, you know, gathering fruit and I will also be uh, gathering sweat and all that sort of stuff. I'm actually thinking of, like, doing a tally, like, at the end of the week, see what I'm up by. See how many PEDs I'm up by or down by each week. Just to... Just to see. You know, just to see. Because you never know. Alright. Let's get in there. See what we got. Okay, get all this in there. 29.14 PED with like, I don't know, like, yeah, 8 P, 8.5 PEC left over. So, you know, you know, a d we, we got, we got a decent amount of like stuff back this time around. So we did make a profit this time around, guys. So that one was profitable. In the next video, we're going to be hunting some snark snots up in the hills near Fort Lahar. So hopefully we get something back from that as well. That would be, that would be... That'll be absolutely fucking golden, you know, that'll be, that'll be great, but I won't hold my breath. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good day, and I hope you guys are having a fucking brilliant week, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.